Hey guys, make sure you stick around till the end of this video because I'll be announcing the winner of the gear shift knob. So this week's video was meant to be a build video. I got this really cool looking beetle from a friend of mine who's a gardener and I thought it'd be really nice to cast it, turn it into a bottle stopper and give it back to him. As you can see by the pot cam, it had a little bit of an explosion. Now I did seal this beetle fully in UV resin prior to casting and I was hoping that this wouldn't happen, but unfortunately it did. So I've now got to move on and find a new project. So now that time's against me, I've done away with the build video and I'm going to do an experiment video. And for that, I've got some gallium. So most of you guys are probably asking yourself, what the hell is gallium? Well, gallium is a chemical element with a symbol of GA and atomic number 31. Elemental gallium like this one is soft and silvery when at standard room temperature, but it melts at 29 degrees, which means it can actually melt in your hand. I'll cut a piece off and show you. Whoops. Now while gallium is safe to hold in your hands, you do have to make sure you wash your hands when you're done. So as you can see, once the gallium starts to heat up, it melts in your hand. It's actually quite trippy. So here it is at room temperature, and here it is at around 30 degrees in my hand. Another interesting thing about gallium is that it fractures under force. So I wonder if when we put this in the pressure pot, whether we'll see any of that. For now though, I'm gonna put this back in the container and start pouring our base layer. I've chosen a nice clear container for this one. That way we can see exactly what goes on in the pressure pot. Now I'll just go pop this in the pressure pot. Now we won't run pot cam this time because we'll save that for when we've got gallium inside. While that's in the pot, let's prep our gallium for casting. Now I'm gonna cut off two chunks, one a bit smaller than the other. So now that we've got our two pieces, we can pull the base out of the pot and start casting the gallium. I've also got this little drop I've been keeping warm too. So my plan here is just going to be to drop the gallium on top of the hard resin and then pour the new resin over the top. And with this piece I've got in a liquid state, I'm going to drop that in after we've poured the resin in. You know, I've just been thinking, I reckon we could get part two for this experiment. If this blank turns out really good, we could put it in that cheap microwave that I bought, turn it on, and then see if we could remelt the gallium. Now that that's in, let's put the melted drop in. Splat, straight to the bottom. I'm really excited for this one. What do you think will happen? Do you reckon it's just gonna melt straight away and turn into a pancake? It's gonna be so interesting to watch.
really don't know what to expect with this one. I'm kind of predicting that it's all just going to be melted on the bottom there. Wow, that looks pretty cool. It is very pancake-like. After taking a closer look at this, I can see that some of the gallium actually floated close to the edge and has broken the edge here. So I think if we put this in the microwave, there's a good chance that that'll actually come out. Well that was 90 seconds, let's see what we got. Oh, it's hot. Oh. Wow, that's really hot. Oh, jeez. Well that's really hot, definitely hotter than 30 degrees. And that Galleon doesn't feel like it's melted at all. Well, that did surprise me. This thing is so hot to touch, like I can hold it for probably two seconds before it starts burning me. And I really thought that gallium would have started pouring out of that hole, but it didn't. Oh wow, look at that. Can you guys see that? See the burnt spot in the middle? I'll get a white background. Check that out. We've got a burnt spot right in the middle. Oh, still hot. Right there. Let me see if I can jam a toothpick in there. Oh, look at that. I can get it to come out. It just won't flow out. So it's all melted in there. Well guys, the gallium behaved just as I thought it would. Heat up and then turn into a pancake. What I am surprised about though, is this burn mark in the middle of the resin. It is a shame that we couldn't get that gallium to melt and move around. It is really stuck in that one spot. Although we could get the toothpick and jam it in the side and pick that one out. But it's still really hot to touch. I'm really surprised that it doesn't have a flowing effect in there. It's now time for me to announce the winner of the giveaway. Congratulations, Dennis66. We'll be in contact, Dennis, and we'll get some details and send this out to you. I'm really looking forward to seeing the walking stick you're going to make and using this as the topper. Well guys, that's all for this week's episode. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do gallium and we finally did it. So I hope you really enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.